Hello everyone, today I'm going to talk about the method called linear least square adjustment and uh, using this method you can actually find the unknown parameters of your linear equations and uh, the condition is like your observations should be the linear function of your parameters so then you can apply this linear least square adjustment method and you can find the unknown parameters in your linear equation so and uh, uh, i will implement this method for you in python today and uh, the simplest example of this to find the best estimates uh, for your unknown parameters in the line equation and to fit the best line on your data and uh, this method can also be called as a linear regression method and um, in the end uh, we will talk about the limitations of this method like uh, where we can apply this method or where it fails and we can also talk about the possible solutions to make this method more robust and to make it work for some cases where it failed so let's move over to this tutorial for this you need to open your terminal and you need to open your compiler where you can type your python code and compile it but uh, i'm using here jupyter lab so for this i need to type jupyter lab so here is my compiler and uh, i need to create a new file with the python 3 kernel because i'm using the python 3 and uh, first of all we need to import some important libraries so the first library we need is the numpy library and uh, this library is used to create arrays and to perform the arithmetic operation on arrays and the second library we need is the pandas library and uh, this library is useful to load the data from the files uh, from like from csv files from text files and to also get uh, more information from our data we can use this library to interpret our data and the next library we need is the matplotlib library uh, this library is useful in order to plot your data and in order to plot your results so i can load all these libraries and uh, the next thing you need your uh, to load your uh, file where you have your data and uh, for this we need the pandas library and i am a csv file so for this we will use the read csv function and in the columns we will write the name of our csv file and this is called salary uh, data dot csv so this is how you can read the data from your csv file and next we will look what's inside this data so actually we have two columns in our data years of experience and salary like this is about like how much salary you can get based on your years of experience next we will plot this data and see how it will look like and to plot this data we need to separate over x and y axis and to separate over x and y axis you simply need to type y is equal to data and uh, your y axis should be in this case years of experience and your x should be your salary column so in this way you can separate your x and y axis and the next thing we simply plot over x and y axis for this you need to call a plot function and uh, you need to type your x vector y vector and or you can plot this data i can plot this data as points or even sterics so and this is how your data looks like and uh, next thing we will fit the best line on this data and in order to find the best line for this data we need to solve uh, the line equation and the line equation is simple y is equal to ax plus p and uh, you can simply uh, see that we have our y-axis and x-axis and the unknowns in our line equation are simply the a parameter and the b parameter a parameter is the uh, slope and the b parameter is the offset and uh, in order to find the best estimated values for a and b we will use the linear least square adjustment method and uh, for this uh, uh, the condition should be your uh, observations 
uh, should be the linear function of your unknown parameters like your observations y should be the linear function of your unknown parameters and uh, in this case uh, y is over y observations which is okay and a is over design matrix and x is over vector of unknown parameters now we can write over line equation uh, in this um, matrix form and uh, y is already in a vector form and uh, over a matrix should be like this a matrix should be like this in a matrix we should have our x and one and uh, over unknown matrix x capital x should be like this a vector of our unknown parameters which are a and b simply if you can multiply your a matrix with the x matrix you simply get your equation of line y is equal to ax plus b and uh, yes and uh, so uh, in order to find the best estimates of the line we actually have to solve this equation uh, like our unknown parameters equal to uh, inverse of our a matrix into a matrix is our design matrix a matrix into a a transpose of a matrix into a and again into transpose of a matrix into our observations so right now we have our uh, y observation matrix which is here over y and we have uh, the thing we don't have is over a matrix so over a matrix should be a columns of x and, and one for this we need to know how much is our data and for this you need to type print data dot shape and uh, our data is of 30 rows and two columns so our design matrix should be a of like the same dimensions so our design matrix should be here like with the 30 uh, columns of x the uh, 30 uh, rows of x and in the second column we have 30 rows of 1 so the dimension of our matrix should be 30 cross 2 in the first column we have over rows of x and in the second column we have over rows of 1 so in order to build our design matrix we will simply uh, use the np.once function first we will create a, a matrix of 1 with the dimensions of same 30 cross 2 and the next thing we need to replace our first column with the x values so for this you need to write a you all the columns uh, all the rows of the first column should be x and uh, our second column should be the value with the ones and we already have ones so we are done with our design matrix and the next thing in order to get the best estimates of one known parameters we need to write this equation and uh, for this you need to type the linear algorithm dot inverse and uh, the inverse of a transpose for the transpose you need to type np dot transpose of a into your into your a matrix we are using this at the red sign uh, for the matrix multiplication and again at the red sign and again transpose of your a matrix into your observation matrix and we will print over x and in x we have actually two values the first one is our a value which is over slope and the second one is the b value which is over offset these are the best uh, estimated values for a and b uh, next uh, we will plot uh, over best straight line on our data and uh, see if it's best uh, next thing we will uh, plot uh, our best fit line or uh, on our data using these best estimates for our unknown parameters and for this you need to write to line equation y is equal to your x values and uh, your uh, slope and uh, over slope is the first value in our output vector and 
offset is the second value of our output vector and in order to plot the line we, we will again uh, plot our data plt dot plot and uh, x comma y steric and next we will plot our line on this data for you need to type your uh, x comma y and now we will see our output and uh, here you can see this is the best line that uh, fits best on our data next we will look in the limitations of this method like uh, how this method uh, fails uh, if we introduce some corrupted measurement in our observation so this method usually fail so we will look how it fails and next we will talk about how we can make it uh, correct so we will uh, disturb our 25th observation and uh, we will introduce some uh, corrupt measurement in our observation for this i am changing the values of my 25th observation and yeah so again if i apply the same method so i just copy this method again here and plot this method here so if i run this method i will not get the exact same line as it is let's suppose I have introduced a crop measurement here and I can apply the same method again. Now you see this crop measurement is actually involved in the estimation of your parameters and it will also disturb over mm, the best estimates and we will get some inaccurate results because of this corrupted measurements. You see this line here is uh, different from the line uh, we have without the corrupted measurement so if we crop this measurement more like if i introduce a big error then you will see my line is disturbed more no i have a totally different line what i have here so this is or the corrupted measurement actually we don't need this measurement in order to estimate the best parameters so in order to make our uh, a method more robust you actually have some prior knowledge about this observations uh, or you can eliminate this observation from your data and then you can apply this method then you will get exactly the same line as it is here and uh, if you also have known some prior knowledge about the errors in each observations so we can model these observations in our equations and, uh, and then we can eliminate this observation so for this we can implement the idea of the weight matrix and we can call the weight matrix simply as w and it should be identity matrix uh, of dimensions 30 cross 30 and uh, now in this weight matrix we will actually give weights to each of our, of our observations and we will give like the similar weights all the observations here and we know that our this observation is corrupted and we will give him a low weight and next we will uh, give over 25th measurement a weight of 0 0.01 i know this i know uh, prior that my this uh, observation is corrupted and i will give a low weight to this observations so now this observation will take a very small part in order to uh, then uh, we will have to plug this weight matrix inside our equations for this you need to plug it here and also here now this weighting method is involved in the estimation method now this is the weighted least square method and now if i run this method and you will get the same line as it is here in this way you can uh, improve your method by uh, introducing the idea of the weight matrix and if i put exactly the zero weight then you will get exactly the same line as you have here so this observation is not involved in order the in over estimation method so this is how you can improve your method by the weight matrix this is everything about today's tutorial so if you like this tutorial 
please subscribe my channel and also please press the bell icon to get the updates of the new uploads and uh, in the next video i will talk about the next method called renzac which is more robust in order to um, counter the outliers or the corrupted measurements in our observations thank you see you bye bye in the next lecture